Hey guys, what's up Aquarius? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. It's going to be a reading for your immediate future. The situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. Keep in mind that the energy can go both ways. So this could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with. So flip flop it how you need to. Also keep in mind this is a general reading. So take what's yours. Leave the rest behind. Alright. Um if this does resonate with you today, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, you can find that below as well. Alright, Aquarius. What's coming up? What's behind closed doors? Alright. Player, possibly. Alright. Thank you. Damn. Go Aquarius. So we just leave it at this. Your sunshine is like shining down on all this. You could be moving, traveling, but you're moving forward to working on something or it could be work related. Show me the six of swords. Nice energy came off of it. Alright. So you're moving forward towards a more tranquil space. It's the only way I know how to put that. A peace, a time of peace. Could just be really thinking about it or contemplating, waiting for it. This night of cups. Somebody definitely could be traveling. But like I said, with the four of swords there, it's kind of like somebody's just been laying low, meditating on it. Yeah, see, I don't know if they really spoke about it because there could have been some delay in travel plans or it could create some drama behind it. But with the high priestess and the page of swords, that somebody kind of just taking it in. Because there could be some type of gossip or something like that around the situation. So keep it to yourself. Might just be laying low, waiting. The King of Wands, the Aries Leo Sag. Just somebody who kind of gets up, takes initiative, takes control. Somebody's walking away from something. They're turning their back. But it's to manifest something else. Yeah, some type of change. This King of Wands is turning his back towards something. Could be to move or travel to make this love offer, but that's creating a tower moment. There's some letdown, some disappointment. There's been some regret, something like that. <clears throat> Show me this sun. If this person walks away from you, they're definitely like regretting walking away from you, turning their back. But there's two ways that story came across. So um, take it how it resonates with you. Show me the sun, please, for Aquarius. This is the happiest card in the deck. Mm. Excuse me, the hermit, Virgo energy. See, this is possibly, you know, not a whole lot of movement. And the reason I say that is because we have the Knight of Pentacles, first of all, slowest moving Knight in the deck, the Four of Swords, and somebody's kind of had their back turned. So with the Hermit, you know, it's somebody going with, and it could be coming forward with something pretty solid, but you are finding your way. You're moving forward slowly where this person is. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving Knight in the deck, but for sure coming forward, um... And wanting to take that leap of faith. This is another travel card. So definitely could be someone traveling or something like that. Aquarius energy with the star. That's your energy. Coming straight towards you. Could be a Taurus. Could be something committed or spiritual. But it makes you happy. You're on the right path and things are moving forward. It's, it could be happening very slowly here. But this is about wish fulfillment and rebuilding after difficult times. So things did get difficult because, you know, somebody, you know, it's like just needed a little bit of peace is what it looks like. But at the end of the day, they turn it, they turn their back here. But they realize something now and, and it's regretting those actions. So, or just, you know, maybe looking at the whole picture now. 
So with some inner reflection here, somebody realized there's sunshine, you have the sun and the star. It's a hell of a dynamic. The King of Cups does not always wear his emotions on his sleeve, but he is that emotional king. So it looks like you're coming straight, or this could be you coming straight towards, um, you know, feeling good and going up or feeling optimistic and going towards that. Could be something spiritual that you're doing, could be, you know, a marriage, a commitment, something in line with your values. All right, show me this Eight of Pentacles for uh, Aquarius for the outcome. All right, Aries energy with the Emperor there. Somebody is putting in the work. They're taking charge. That's why we have this King of Wands over here. There's a whole new opportunity. This could be work-related, career-related. It could be, you know, this relationship because it goes back to this Knight of Cups. So it definitely could be. It could be, you know, a person um, or career related because there's an opportunity that's being presented that's seen as a wish fulfillment. Show me this. Um, but like I said, I don't know if it's all the way came across yet just because we have such slow moving inward energy. Show me this. Okay. So old cycles, endings, change. Things are shaping up, shaking up, changing up. And there's an opportunity here to begin working on something. The Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It goes back to this King of Cups. This is about your heart space. Um, could be dealing with a water sign, but the Queen of Cups is the feeling of falling in love. So you could work with this person, or this could be work related, but you're putting work in in like a heart space way. The opportunity is here. Seeing as your wish fulfillment there. You have both wish fulfillment cards. So it's a nice cycle um, beginning now. After a time of hesitation or, you know, uncertain, uncertainty. Definitely could be a reconciliation. Working on past issues. Trying to heal things. Gemini energy with the lovers. Yeah, and the freaking Two of Cups. There's a hell of a bond here. And it's mutual. A lot of love, a lot of soulful bond. Like feeling as one. All right, Aquarius. I hope this helps. I hope this resonated. The offer is coming. The apology definitely could be an apology. All right, I hope this helps. Hope this resonated. If so, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. You guys take care and I'll see you next time.